Military Situation on Ukrainian Frontlines on August 14, 2024, Maps Update Russian air defense destroyed at least 124 UAV and four tactical missiles in the border regions. Russian strikes destroyed targets in the port of Odessa. Russian strikes hit targets in the Sumy region. Russian strikes hit targets in the Chernihiv region. Russian strikes hit targets in the Kropivnitsky region. Russian strikes hit targets in the Cherkasy region. Russian strikes hit targets in the Vinnytsia region. Three civilians were wounded in the DPR on August 13. Clashes continue in the Korsk region. Clashes continued in Volchensk. Clashes continued in Sinkovka. Russian forces advanced in Grodovka. Russian forces advanced near Klishchivka. Russian forces advanced near Orlovka. Russian forces eliminated 165 servicemen, 5 motor vehicles, 1 howitzer, and one 122mm D-30 howitzer in the Kharkiv area. Russian forces eliminated 470 servicemen, 1 M113 armored personnel carrier, 4 pickups, 1 crab, 2 M777, 2 D-30, 1 L119 in the Lyman area. Russian forces eliminated 475 servicemen, 1 tank, 3 M113 armored personnel carriers, 3 armored vehicles, 2 pickups, 3 crab, 2 M198, 2 FH70, 1 D30 in the Chase of Yar area. Russian forces eliminated 690 servicemen, 1 armored vehicle, 1 M777, 1 crab system, 1 D20, 1 Stabi, 1 Gvozdika, 2 D30 in the Donetsk region. Russian forces eliminated 395 servicemen, 1 tank, 2 armored vehicles, 2 motor vehicles, 1 D20, 2 D30 in the southern Donetsk area. Russian forces eliminated 120 servicemen, 9 motor vehicles, 2 crab systems, 2 M198 howitzers, 1 to be in Kherson region. Russian air defense forces intercepted 147 Ukrainian drones over the past day. Russian air defense forces shot down four Tachka U missiles, two hammer bombs, three Hamars projectiles over the past day. Russian forces advanced west of Sferodonovka and Ivanovka and reached the outskirts of Novodoretsko. Russian forces advanced in Grodovka. Russian forces advanced west of Sergivka. Russian forces advanced and reached the outskirts of Mykolaivka. Clashes continued in Mishevo. Clashes continued near Vazdvizenka. Clashes continue on the northern shore of the Karlovsky Water Reservoir. Fighting is ongoing in Karlovka. Up to 690 servicemen, one armored vehicle, one M777, one crab system, one D20, one Stabi, one Gvozdika, two D30 were destroyed in the area. The Russian military continues to inflict heavy losses on Ukrainian armed formations that recently infiltrated the region of Korsk in Russia's southwest. In its August 14 briefing, the Russian Ministry of Defense said that the Sever group of forces prevented Ukrainian troops from advancing near the settlement of Skrylevka, Levshinka, Semyonovka, Alexeyevskoy and Kamishnoy, noting that two enemy groups on pickup trucks were located and eliminated near the settlement of Martinovka. Six attacks carried out by Ukraine's 115th Mechanized Brigade, 80th and 82nd Air Assault Brigades were also repelled near the settlements of Koronivo, Algovka, Pogrebki, Ruskoy Porknoy and Cherkaskoy Porknoy, according to the ministry. Ukraine's 22nd, 61st Mechanized Brigades, 92nd Assault Brigade and 1st Presidential Operational Brigade also took losses close to the settlements of Loknya, Kremyanoy, Oleshnya, Sverdlikovo and Daryino, the ministry said adding that airstrikes hit reserves near the settlements of Unikovka, Sadki, Maropoli, Kropovshchina, Magritza, and Kravnoy in the neighboring Ukrainian region of Sumy region. Over the past 24 hours, the AFU, Armed Forces of Ukraine, losses amounted to up to 270 Ukrainian troops, 16 units of armored hardware, including two tanks, one striker armored personnel carrier, 13 armored fighting vehicles, 10 motor vehicles, and one 122mm D-30 howitzer. 18 AFU servicemen were taken prisoner, the ministry said. Since the beginning of hostilities in Korsk region, the enemy lost up to 2,300 Ukrainian troops, 37 tanks, 32 armored personnel carriers, 18 infantry fighting vehicles, 192 armored fighting vehicles, 88 motor vehicles, 4 anti-aircraft missile systems, 2 MLRS launchers, and 15 field artillery guns, it concluded. The ministry also released videos showing some of Ukraine's recent losses, including captured equipment and deadly troops, 
as well as recent strikes on Kiev forces in Korsk. Kiev forces backed by foreign mercenaries launched their attack in Korsk early on August 6. Weapons supplied by the United States and other Western allies of the Kiev regime were heavily used, which indicates that the attack was orchestrated with help from NATO. Since the start of the surprise attack, at least 12 Russian civilians have been killed and more than 120 others have been wounded. In addition, the attack displaced more than 120,000 civilians. The fate of some 2,000 others who lived in areas attacked by Kiev forces remain unknown. The Russian military halted the advance of Kiev forces in the very first days of the attack and is now launching limited counterattacks to deplete the infiltrators.